morning everyone how you all hope you all are good so in your yesterday's weekly test you all have tried well well done keep it up and now let us start with the word problems of exercise 4 chapter 3 is going on so let us solve these word problems let us start with question number 3 and that is there are 10752 balls of red and blue color in a bag that means 10752 are the total balls including red and blue out of which number of blue balls is given and that is 8967 now you are to calculate that how many are red balls means how many red balls are there so for this what you will do you will just write down the number of total balls that are 10752 and from that subtract your blue balls that are 8967 and after subtraction you have got your answer and that is 1785 subtraction everybody has done i hope it, it is clear to everyone that you will always start subtracting from the right side and always you can subtract smaller number from the greater one only so if it is not possible like here you can see we have 2 and 7 we cannot subtract 7 from 2 that's why we have to regroup the numbers by borrowing it from the neighbors now this this 2 has taken from this 5 this will become 4 and this 2 will become 12 and after subtraction after subtracting 7 from 12 we have got the answer and that is 5 similarly here we have 14 so when we will subtract 6 from 14 we will get 8 9 from 16 we will get 7 and 8 from 9 we will get 1 so just to regroup the number wherever it is needed after understanding after keeping in mind the statement that is given move towards the next question that is question number 4 of this exercise and that is find the difference between the largest seven digit number and the largest six digit number now here you can see you have largest six seven digit number and largest six digit number and you are to calculate its difference difference means again you have to subtract it so before proceeding for subtraction what you will do you will arrange the numbers in the columns and what will be those numbers like on the first you are to write the largest seven digit number so largest seven digit number is 7 times 9 and largest six digit number is 6 times 9 so now what you will do you will just get get its difference by subtracting largest six digit number from the largest seven digit number again you will start your subtraction from the ones place and just start subtracting 9 minus 9 is 0 and this you have read in your subtraction facts also that if you are subtracting the same number means the same number from itself then your answer will always be 0 so here we have zeros because we are just simply subtracting 9 from 9 but here because we have seven digit number and here we have six digit number so we will just subtract 0 from 9 and that is 9 if nothing is there that means it is 0 so after subtraction we have got 9 that means this is the difference 90 lakh is the difference that we have got after subtracting largest six digit number from the largest seven digit number now let us move towards the next question that is question number 5 of this exercise and it is what should be subtracted from 8 lakh 34567 to get 2 lakh 82091 so what you have got here the difference this is the difference this is the answer 
and from eight lakh thirty four thousand five hundred sixty seven means this is your minuend. So basically, you are to calculate your subtrahend means the number that you have subtracted. So for this, what you will do, you will just subtract your difference from your minuend, and you will get your subtrahend. Like in this case, I have arranged the sum. in which i have written minuend on the upper side 8 3 4 5 6 and difference i have written here and after subtracting difference from minuend we will get subtrahend now here again you can see the difference by subtracting these two numbers we will start from the ones place and after subtracting 1 from 7 we have got here we can subtract because we are subtracting smaller number from the greater one right if if we cannot subtract then what we will do we will just regroup our numbers by borrowing let us move here now here we have 6 and 9 and again we cannot subtract 9 from 6 so what we will do we will do its regrouping 6 will borrow from 5 5 will be left like One will be deducted from five and will be left with four. And here, this will become sixteen. Now, after subtracting nine from sixteen, we have got seven, and here we are left with four. So, zero minus four is four. Right. So, this is the answer here. Four. now move towards the left side and here again we can subtract 2 from 4 and after subtraction we have got 2 then move further and here we have 8 and 13 so after subtraction again we have got 5 now you can see here initially we were having 3 again we have regrouped the numbers we have borrowed from this 8 so this 8 will be left with 7 and this 3 will be 13 One ten ones plus three ones so that will be thirteen. Right now, just subtract eight from thirteen, and you will get five. Similarly, in this case, when you will subtract two from seven, you will get five. So this is your subtrahend. Like five lakh fifty two thousand four hundred seventy six should be subtracted from eight lakh thirty four thousand five hundred sixty seven to get two lakh eighty two thousand ninety one means this is our subtrahend in this case so we have to subtract this number from the minuend and we will get our answer and your difference difference is this like two eight two zero nine one move towards the last question uh, that i have taken here so it is how should we check if the subtraction is correct now always keep in your mind that you can check your sum of subtraction through addition by addition sum of subtraction can be checked by addition now how here we can see that minuend minus subtrahend is equal to difference right that means if after subtraction you are adding difference and subtrahend so you will get minuend if you are getting the same number as given in minuend so your answer is correct right so in this way you can check your subtraction here also i have written if difference plus subtrahend is equal to minuend all the possible equations will form from this only minuend minus subtrahend is equal to difference i hope all these terms are clear to everyone minuend means the number from which we are subtracting subtrahend the number which we are subtracting and answer of subtraction is your difference so the only way to check your subtraction is through addition and for that what you have to do you just have to add subtrahend and difference so you will get minuend like in this case also if you want to check whether your sum is correct or not then you will add 5 5 2 4 7 6 plus 
टू एट टू जीरो नाइन वन एंड आफ्टर एडिंग दीज टू नंबर्स यू विल गेट योर मेन्यू एंड एंड दैट इज एट थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन आई होप ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन आर क्लियर टू एवरी वन नाउ आई एल बी सेंडिंग द लेफ्ट ओवर क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज जस्ट ट्राई टू डू इट अटेम्प्ट इट शो मी दैट हाउ यू हैव डन राइट इन अ गुड हैंड मेक प्रॉपर डिजिट फॉर्मेशन एंड सेंड बैक योर आंसर्स थैंक यू